so terrible. Do you get nervous when you're going to go out that no one will dance? Yeah. Yeah, really? Look, yeah, it's scary. Um, do you yeah. play in all your own stuff? Only all your own stuff or other stuff too? No, we we mix it. We do like a mashup of other people's stuff and mix in our stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I've DJed here in New York City, and it's the worst feeling when you're playing music, man, and nobody's I doing guess, anything. You're like, I guess, what the fuck do I have to? What do I, What do they want to hear? Yeah. What am I? Yeah, I guess nobody thinks that there's bombing for DJs, right? Nobody really like if you're outside that world, like it would never occur to me. The way like a comedian or even a band or anybody performing live would have any kind of pressure, it would never occur to me that there's bombing for DJs. But of course there is. Well, luckily something like this. Yes, there is. A party. Yeah. You're you're they're here to see us. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like these people have come to this specific pool to see us play at this time, so that helps. But yeah, like when I do open format DJing here in the city, sometimes you go play and you're playing like whatever hip hop, and they're like, we don't want hip hop. You know, we want something else. And if you clear the room, you're not doing your job. Yeah. That's a great, great picture. You're, you see Troy in the background. I don't, know, I don't know your partner's name. Jared. Troy and Jared there. It's really great. Um, with the black caviar logo. It looks so good with the colors, the green, and the fucking water splashing. That's excellent. Yeah, they had big plants set up, the huge PA system. And how long do you perform for? We played one hour. That's not bad. Perfect. Is there no. another DJ, too? Yeah, they have DJs all day. And then they had, um, they had an air museum there with all these old airplanes these world war ii airplanes and then they had it all lit up and then they had a night party there which was just incredible i mean the people that run splash house are they just put on such an amazing event are you doing more music videos uh eventually yeah we our new song killer shit funk uh, our video is coming out soon but then yeah obviously when we do the next release we'll do a video for that too good good for radio do you go kill a poop funk just kill so it kill a kill a funk smart or kill a ship yeah ship yeah. Could have been Kill a Chip. I yeah. know. I wish I could have done that. Could have been that. so bummed. Could have been. been. Kill a Chip Funk. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Rob's wedding, the DJ kept like, uh. uh hey, Stopping hey, the music and making that noise. Fuck! <laughs> oh my what? god, that's right. He had a siren. <laughs> oh. And <laughs> did you like the siren? Uh, I. I lost track of the things I didn't like about him. Oh, But Travis. then I turned around and I was like, this is the greatest DJ ever. He he started, like, Are you blaming the couple for songs. Like, it wasn't... Like, really? when he would introduce, like, the first dance or whatever, he's like, this is the father-daughter dance, and they're going to dance to this song. That They, they picked this song. And he would start it. He said, they picked this, not me. Right, they ah. picked this, not me. Or And then, like, another thing would come... Anything that the bride and groom or, or the family picked out he would have to preface it by saying they picked this yeah it reminded me of of something dennis said a long time ago about how he is not the star the music is well you're not supposed to put your yeah you're not supposed to get yourself sure. over yeah but yeah. i mean not everybody follows dennis's flaws. no not everybody does no. he really feels like he's not the star dennis yeah yeah, and he should. He's, he's got the security. Yeah. Of no, you know what? You know what? Dennis has that, that, that. Dennis has what's known as big dick energy. You know? <laughs> he knows that he's the star. And because of that, he doesn't have to put himself over. He doesn't have to act like he's the star. I don't know. Because he walks in with big dick yeah, energy. He's good. Or it could be very little dick energy where, oh. where you're going, oh, I, like, I, hey guys, don't even think that I think I'm the star. I know it's the music. No, like, he's very confident. Man, he know. does have confidence. I think I Dennis. So. I think Dennis has big dick kickboxer energy. You know what? He is a kickboxer. <laughs> right. Damn good full head of hair. Yeah, Dennis is right. Yeah, he is. I bet he doesn't even wear those kickboxer shorts because his dong falls out of the leg. Yeah. I, I don't know why I thought he was more of a thin-dicked man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dennis is thick and long. Trust right. me when I tell Dennis you. Dennis is like Craig Shoemaker. Do you think oh, his, yeah. Do you think his nickname in that dumb group he used to hang out with was, was Girth Falcone? Oh, <laughs> what, was was the, what was the, the name? The Fellas. The Fellas, right. <laughs> yeah. The Fellas. Yeah, and that's the Girth fellas. Falcone over there. <laughs> We're yeah. the Fellas. I'm Doug, that's Fred, and that's Girth Falcone yeah, over and, there. And, and, and he would always walk around in his fucking, his like white uh, bathing suit where he had torn the line out that's right <laughs> that's right let that water cling to him <laughs> hey boys i want to take another dip girth falcone <laughs> as soon as that bathing suit dries off old girth falcone is back in the water just he likes a clingy suit he likes it to cling yeah. oh yeah he likes when they can see the head ridge <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it peeks out the bottom oh, of yes, course it does, it does. Yeah. yes it you can't does. help that though your girth no. falcone and that's a gift and a curse yeah <laughs> Yep. Uh, but yeah, he doesn't uh, subscribe. They they were two completely different DJs. They were two they really were DJs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. It was very dark. Mm -hmm. And you mean in terms of the lights? Yeah, I didn't mind it. 
But I mean, I like there was I felt like I was missing some stuff. I missed. I, I couldn't see anything. It was very sudden. All oh, of a sudden, no. it was what? Girth is coming down the hall. Oh no! It's it's starting to feel a little. Somebody's filling up the hallway. Yeah. <laughs> what do you comes. think that is? Here he comes with this cowboy walk. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Let's see if you feel it when he walks in the room. Yep. Let's see what kind of energy Here you he feel. Comes. See what kind of energy. There he is. Tell me that didn't just hit you. It did. Tell me that didn't just hit you. Ah. Are oh, you going with that? Have they? Did they tell you? What, yeah, they was. I was listening, and uh, I was listening. And and I feel like you have big dick energy. Yep. You know, which girth. is a good thing. Yeah. 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 Did when you were in the fellas, did they call you Girth Falcone? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> so with the DJ this weekend, mm -hmm. it was very dark on the dance floor. Right. Very dark. No like, lights. Yeah, I don't know why. Well, you had like those uh, those uh, color lights, you know, like you had a blue light over here, or uh -huh. like uh, you know those lights that look like uh, Rot sparkles almost rotating heads. Yeah, kind of. Mm -hmm. But like when they did the cutting of the cake, you shut it off. You yeah, shut the lights off. No, 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 no. Because then you get all the, on, on the kid's face, you know. Well, the colored lights were still on, but the house lights were off. Everything was off. You couldn't see, you couldn't see the cutting of the cake. You couldn't see the, the, when she's singing to him, he's sitting on a chair, I think. I Could shut you? the, uh, I shut my lights off, and I asked the, uh, banquet manager, just bring the lights up a little. And I'll talk to the photographer. Can, can you get a good picture here? You know, the videographer. So I worked together, so, you know, it's, it's Let me easy. ask you this. Yes, my friend. Is this... On some level, bothered me. The uh, beautiful bride sang a song. Uh -huh. Gutsy thing to do, right? Father the played the, the uh, organ. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I had that at one wedding. Okay. Actually, the father and the uncle sang. Perfect. Mm -hmm. When you're introducing somebody, if it's a female, mm -hmm. do you think it's appropriate to say, "Oh, she's going to come up here and try to get her Beyonce on"? No. I mean, doesn't that immediately compare her to a to a a, a goal that she will never be able well, to attain? Well, didn't he call her Beyonce too at one point? With the, yeah, he said Beyonce like four times, and then he had the bridesmaids come up, and he goes, "They're gonna be Beyonce too," and it's like, bro, mm, there's more singers. He referenced Beyonce a lot. No, I wouldn't do that. Would you um Would you get a priest to uh, give up to bless the food and have him not know the woman's name who you married? Uh, I would. Just say, I would go to the bride and groom, say, who's going to do the uh, the blessing? Usually I have that on my paperwork. How about how about this one? Uh -huh. How about this one? You, we know there's three speeches, right? It was said. Right. There's three speeches. Mm -hmm. So the maid of honor, I'm assuming, which is the sister, right. makes a wonderful speech. Mm -hmm. The uh, uh, best, man, best man, the brother, right? Wonder, uh, both of them made great speeches. Now, the right. best man, the brother, said something in the speech, which I thought was very good. I'm sure it's been said before. He said, you don't marry... The person you can live with, you marry the person you can't live without. I thought that was a very beautiful. nice yeah, sentiment. That's, that's beautiful. Have beautiful. you heard that before? No. Okay. I, I, I thought that nice. was very beautiful. Nice. So after those two speeches, <laughs> the DJ gets the microphone. He goes like this. Who else is making a speech? Ooh, okay. <laughs> Anybody else? I, I did a well, wedding. No. He goes, who else is making a speech? Because he doesn't know who the third speech is. He had no is. idea. Oh, my God. Well, then again, maybe they said someone else might make it. Maybe they didn't give him no, the No, 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 no. They said it was because it was the dad. It was the dad making the speech. The dad makes his speech, and then the DJ goes, anybody else want to say anything? Very sarcastic. No, I would go up to the bride and say, uh, do you want your dad to do the t uh, toast first, or do you want me to start off with the maid of honor? And not then... into the microphone. No, of course not. Right. Beforehand. It's, right. You, know, you guys laugh at me all the time. Show prep. Right. That's basically what it is. You're, well, you're doing, professional. You're doing a Oh, a we job. don't laugh at you for prep. No, 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 no. no. You're doing a, laugh a job. Laugh at Jim for his prep. Absolutely. <laughs> his, I'm honest. His, yeah, exactly. <laughs> his habits have gotten him there. You, know, you have to remember, it's... Uh, it's a show. It's a, you're doing something. You write your material. You make sure you know what you're going to talk about on stage. Normally, yeah. You just don't go out there and wing it for an hour. Do you have a, Do you have an effect on your DJ thing where you can make it sound like like the singer of the song is in a spaceship? Yeah, I don't. You're doing a wedding. It's not a club night. What if you did every song? Oh, that is annoying. <laughs> wow. I worked once. I did a wedding with. I had a DJ, and I was just doing the MC work. And every song he was playing this like fire engine sound. And like, you know, I went over to him. I said, I'm familiar. I heard those. <laughs> I said, please do me a favor. Yeah. We're not at a nightclub. These people are, you know, in their 50s and their 60s. Play the song like they know the song from the radio. Mm -hmm. Don't play remixes and all that. You know, what did he say? Well, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's what I do. I go, well, do it when you don't work with me. Oh, had, you, had yeah. you hired him? No, I was working for a company who just hired me to do the announcements and uh, the MC work. See? You yeah. know what that is? That's big dick energy. Well, that's just confidence. Were you, were, you, were you his boss in that moment? 
Well, the he MC kind of boss. runs the thing. But, you know, you work on it like this. Hey, I'm not your I'm your boss. And I go, let's work together. Like, I'll say when I want the song, you know, I'll just say, you know, DJ Rick, give me that song. Right. So do you like doing that or do you like DJing? I like doing it all because I like being in control. You do? I like doing the combo work, yeah. Because I know, you know, I might be playing a song and then at the last second I go, oh, no, I want to change it. So, I, you know, something else would work. So now, Rob, I said we said Rob should have hired you. And then someone said that Denny's a bit pricey. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you, you know on, what? You pay for quality. Yeah, that's yeah, right. I Denny's a professional. Yeah, I would have given him, uh, come on, it would have been a good price. You would have given him the friends and family discount? Of course. We I, would hire, I would hire DJ Denny. For I would, any too. Event. Absolutely. I would, too. I think that he's a, he's he's great at what he does. He's he takes his jobs seriously. Whatever he's doing, he takes it very, very seriously. most important thing is don't get the people's names wrong. He, well, he, uh, the priest did. He said, uh, Brian and Rob. <laughs> now, it is a hard name to spell. It's B it spells like Brian with an extra N. She, I would love her to tack an E on there for clarity. Brianna? Uh, Brianne. 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 All right. Yeah. So yeah. you write it out. B-R-E dash A-N-N. -N. Even if you time. throw an E at the end of it. So you can see yeah. it's right, and. Right, right. Whatever exactly. you got to do. Right. The hardest wedding I've ever done was a Greek wedding. The names are very tough. Right. And they uh, demand that you do the last names, which are, they're very tough names. Just write it out phonetically. You know, I just write everything out And you got it right? Yeah. Phonetically. Yeah. Have you, you ever bombed at a wedding? Like, have you ever done a wedding where you're like, God, I stink tonight. Uh, I'm off. I don't know why it's not working. I mean, you could do a, a gig one night. You could play a list of music, pack in the place. You could play that same list the next day and nothing. Now, let me ask you this. The uh, cake cutting happens on the dance floor, right? Mm -hmm. Putting cake in their mouths or whatever. Right. When you clean up the dance floor, mm -hmm. are you going to jump on the dance floor and walk through it and clean it up as the cake and the bride and the groom are still standing there? No. That's the uh, the maitre d's job, first of all. Right. I'll just give a couple of seconds and say, again, nice round of applause for, you know, you know uh, Bob and Mary cutting Robin their Brian wedding cake. Robin, Robin, Brianne. Uh, <laughs> Robin, also, Brianne cutting their wedding cake on this special day. Let's have a nice round of applause. I go, let's move that cake back so we could all get a delicious piece of that and enjoy coffee. In the meantime, let's get this party pumping one more time. Boom. So in the mean, so you wouldn't allow the cake cutting to happen, and then you just put the microphone like your job's done and just allow there to be dead silence in the room? Of course not. I hate dead air. We had a lot of dead air. I hate dead oh, air. There was a lot. The only time you do it is when you bring the music down. Uh, time for our champagne toast. Everybody grab hold of your glass, whatever you happen to might be drinking, and uh, let's bring up, you know, Brianna's. I never like saying the bride. The bride is just very, you know. Right. What do you say her name? Her name. It's yeah. good. Yeah. Everybody knows that's the bride. Right. Everybody that's true. knows they are she's there. the groom. Right. They're all you there know. for that reason. Yeah. And I never say the dance floor is open. It's never really closed. <laughs> that's, just, yeah, that's, that's right. right. Let's get this party Can going. Can I ask a question? Fun. Go ahead. When you're introducing the 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 whole wedding party, mm -hmm. well, yeah, I mean, and you know that people because I know exactly where you're okay, going. Okay, you, then you, you can ask. That's fine. You know that some people, especially in this day and age, in this YouTube era, they love to do all their special dances when they come down the line. And that's they fine, do. right? It's a part yeah, of it. Yeah, that's fine. I hate it, by the way. Yeah, we can well, yeah, for, for do you like it? It's fun. I mean, they, it's they not like fun. It. It's their wedding. Let them have fun. For myself That's and all. Jess, mm -hmm. we let the bridal party, everybody know that they would not even be getting introduced. There is no reason for it. Okay. They'll introduce us, and that's it. Let's, okay. get, to, let's get to it. Let's right. get to it. That's, let's get well, to it. Well, you know what? I think the younger you are, it's more of a show. I mean, I've done weddings where they've had, you know, ten bridesmaids and ten ushers. It's too much. <laughs> yeah. It's too much. Yeah. It's, but, it's like a And they're coming down, and they all do something funny. And when they, they the all, sometimes they all want a different piece of music. Sure. You know. It's too much. So, you know, you're changing that, and... Uh, what are you gonna do? I would the never music? ever want to do something funny before I walk. Like, I would just yeah. want to stop. And right. I, I would hate yeah. that. Yeah. Hey, and they throw their arms up and do the robot. And, and on a more, th and when you say, and for the first time ever, really, it's the second time ever. Right. The well, priest, the priest made well, it the first time. And, 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 and you know, I'll just say the reason we all came out today to celebrate. Please welcome Mr. and Mrs. See, that's smart because yeah. you know why DJs say for the first time ever they want that. If, they want that if moment. If the bride wants it. Right. No, if they want it, I'll always say, how would you like to be introduced? See, you ask the question. What do they normally say? Uh, ah, whatever you want. I go, well, I go, how about, please welcome, like I just did. Please welcome. What if I said, please introduce me as Cockstrong Sammy and his bride? Dude, I wouldn't say just play. use his name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just, you know, fucking uh, CSS. But how do you, how do, well, that's a different, the middle last stands mm -hmm. for something different. I sure does. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how would you handle, right? There's music playing, obviously, when you're introducing these people. Right. You also have to say their names as they come out. Right. 
How do you handle that balance? As you're bringing out the music, just lower it down. Okay. And now let's welcome Troy. Do you just Troy, Troy, it? Troy, can no, you play some not. music for me? Can you play like uh, 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 Fall of the Bride? I, I, I got a feeling by the Black Eyed Peas. I got a feeling it's perfect. A lot of perfect. people like to walk into that. Do I got a feeling it's perfect. Why? Okay. Because they can clap. It's it's a good, you know, get the beat going. It's fun. All right. All right. So let's bring out the, the bride and the groom. Okay. Right? Hang on. I like the I got it over here, musical Troy. part. Don't you have the intro? Right. The music. You know, I don't like to talk over words. Now here's Dennis. Let's have an extra round of applause. Now here's Jim. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, Let's hear it for Travis. No, you gotta, you gotta bring him in. And I, I try to do something. And different. here is the husband and the bride. They're literally, the music. It sounded like someone broke the equipment. I, I like to uh, <laughs> just give, you know, a different inflection on each name. Let's go. Uh, you know, please welcome our first bride, uh, first bridesmaid, Joanne, escorted by groomsman Sam. So you don't Give just, a nice round of applause. You don't just turn off the music? No, just bring it down a little so I can... <laughs> I see. You, know, you bring it, it down a smidge. Yeah, exactly. You're still keeping that beat going because people But you don't just still... stop it. You don't just no. go, on, off. No, <laughs> on, off. No, people are still clapping to the beat of the on, music. On, off. You know. Let's go. Let's keep it going. <laughs> That's As like a hip-hop thing. Our, you know... That's a hip-hop DJs do that all the time. To turn it off all the way? Sure, go, shout out to so-and-so, shout out so-and-so. Music back up. Right. I hate okay. it. Right. Bring it down and say, we got this going on, this going on. Back up. If right. you're in that atmosphere, exactly. I don't like it. Exactly. Oh, I like the music to continue playing, the jocularity to continue. Right. You want jocularity. That's the point. Denny understands. And then once everybody is done, bride and groom come in. Nice round of applause again for, you know, Joanne and Steve on their big celebration. Right. I'd like to ask everyone to give me a little room on the dance floor. Just wait a couple of seconds so the uh, bride doesn't have her bouquet. Would you go like this? We're going to play uh, their first dance song. They picked this song. No, of course not. <laughs> no, of course not. And uh, I always say, please take center stage on the dance floor. Enjoy your first dance. I don't even have to introduce it. You know. What's a popular first dance song? Uh, is there one that's more popular than others? There is such an array of music these days. I mean, sometimes brides will just send me a YouTube link, and I mean, I've had had everything from a, you know a Black Sabbath ballad, uh, you know, to things like that. And a lot of people you know, sometimes they choose at last. But they something. send you a YouTube link. Do you have to download it first? Because you never know if you can have Wi-Fi. I listen to the song. That's right. And I make sure I purchase the song. You don't, don't just have this song. Rip the MP3? No. Get that shit Fr full from free. That? Free yeah. 99. It's the, it's the quality. I see. It's, a, it's quality. It's, I see. It's a, a YouTube video is compressed. Of course. And, you know, but again, the generation doesn't think you have to pay for music. I want the good quality of, of the song. Yeah. And I want it to sound pristine. And I have a backup, too. I'll keep two copies in that in my machine. In the hard drive of hits. Case, without a doubt. Yeah. Of every, so of every <laughs> song? Uh, no. Do you but, have the hard drive of hits connected? Yeah, I have two drives. With Is it. the hard drive of hits already open, too, so if you need something else? If you need hits. How, How many yeah. laptops do you have? Two. You bring wow. two? Yep. In case one breaks? Yep. That's smart. Yep. Have you ever had it happen? Uh, not, not, not with my MacBook. I want to buy another MacBook. And I bring extra speakers just, just in case. In case. Yeah. Yeah. And in an car. extra con controller. I'll bring those in. I'll bring them in and just put them in, you know, behind how, me. How long would it take you to set up if there was a catastrophic failure? Uh, a couple of minutes, maybe five minutes. But, but you would tell them, hey, without folks. a doubt. I go, had a little technical error here. Yeah. You know, once we had uh, power went out, but it wasn't my fault. Just as I was ready to do the uh, dance with the father. The power, I was upstate New York. It was a hurricane. All the lights went out. It wasn't my fault. Right. You know, but I walked around the room. And I said, you know what? Let's do some wedding trivia. Because I want that at least oh, have some, I, you know, I just wedding that, trivia. Oh, oh my God. Some questions. He asked the names of couples who have been, no, been killed just, in a limo by no, drunk no, drivers. No, I would, you know, <laughs> just do song trivia. Again, this was just As if I wasn't walking. irritated enough by no, the power out. No, Did I, people I, handle she, it? She asked me, she goes, could you, could you, you know, do something? I, well, I don't do magic or tricks. I go, you know, I'll just talk. You know what you should have done? Throw the old bathing suit on with the liner cut out and dipped into a pool so they can see what you're working with. Everybody guess the girth. Like guessing, like guessing the amount of, uh, guessing the amount of jelly beans in a no, that's right. You, know, you guess the girth, and you, you know, win the ability to kiss the ridge. No, I felt good. <laughs> no, Dennis, but yes, sir. Would you would you find the couple married the longest and put them on the spot if the if the bride wants to do what is called the anniversary dance? Oh nope, yeah, yes. Nope. No, I'm just saying. Uh, find a couple and ask them for some advice. Uh, find a no. <laughs>
No, that's hideous. That's ridiculous. That, that's uh, so. Yeah. That's that's. I wouldn't do that. Well, he walked. He said the couple was married the longest, and they said like, fifty. He said any couple's married more than fifty years, and then he went over and said, "Give some advice." No, Dennis is so disgusted. <laughs> Travis, no. he was disgusted by your no. idea. Yeah, no, was. I, sometimes you do the anniversary dance, like to ask all I know the couples that one, who are yeah. married. You know, the longest. Sure. Thing. The thing yeah. is, you get the bride and groom out there and go, "Who's been married less than four hours?" Right. <laughs> he knocked them out first. Who's been married less? Because that's how the bride wants to do it. Some brides don't want to throw the bouquet. You know, I mean, some brides don't I, want to do the garter. We had a great DJ at our wedding. I think, yeah, the first dance song was uh, "Dream a Little Dream," the Mama Cass version. Oh, very nice song. Yes. Uh, the DJ was fantastic, except for one moment. I know exactly. You, you've you've told me this. Yeah, exactly. well, you're moment. because Sam, the end bomb? Sam gave them a <laughs> Sam gave him a direction, and he didn't follow. Uh, you know, something to do. We found, don't use the f word when referring to Sam. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know what you're going to say. Go ahead. We found out the day before, or you know, the weekend before, whatever it was, in the last conversation, the last Skype conversation mm -hmm. that you have. Uh, that he was a fan of the show, mm -hmm. fan of the radio show. He didn't realize it was Sam from the radio. Until right. that moment. Right. And Jess was like, oh, no. And that impressed him? I don't want this to... Be, well, <laughs> you can believe it or not, <laughs> yeah, I don't want this to be about that. And she specifically told him, mm. do not, do not make any references to the show. Don't do it. Don't yeah. make any references. Don't do any show references. Right. Because he was like, because he suggested, if you want, I could throw in some sound bites. I could put the car crash oh, sound. Great in. idea. No, no, no. We were like, no, no. I don't. Great want. idea. No, Should don't. Just give him the chip soundboard. Exactly. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I did a wedding once. Daddy liked during what? the father daughter dance. <laughs> and so what happened was, right before we went out there, right before he right. introduced us, yeah, because he thought Jess wasn't listening, but she could hear. How it. could she not be listening? She goes. He, he goes. Hey, before we bring out the bride and groom, just wanted to. Uh, Send a shout out, getting a message here. Happy birthday, little Jimmy. Oh. And Jess looked at me because we're waiting to be introduced no. into the room. No. And and she goes, Did he just fucking say happy birthday, little Jimmy? Yeah. I'm like, just chill out. Just chill That's, out, babe. We're gonna figure yeah. this out. Get, we're gonna be the, okay. Get the bride upset. On the biggest day of her life. It's important that she think of that, though. Yeah. <laughs> but, but then again, I, I get a, a list I give them. Give me a do not playlist. Do you know, do you, uh, let, again, somebody will come up and, uh, oh, can you announce my uh, 15th anniversary to my wife and play our song? Mm -hmm. I go, I'll play the song. I go, but I'm not, you know, unless the bride comes up to me and say, please uh, reference, you know, my aunt and uncle who are celebrating their 30th anniversary. If they tell me. Right. If, but it has to come from the bride. And Without a doubt. She's so, the boss. Nobody gets the microphone. Like, you might come over and say, hey, give me the mic. I want to talk about, uh, no. Well, it was open it's mic the there in one moment. He was like, anybody else want to say anything? No, 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 no. Yeah. You, you so like, what if somebody gives you a weird request? Like, look, do, like, what if they give you a request? Like, don't play anything produced by Jews. <laughs> <laughs> you ever had that? No. Okay. That's you good. Know, I've heard, you How know, would you handle that? What's that? How would you I, I've never, I'd have to consider that. I never right. think you mean. You have, so. to, you have to stay with that. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's go to Mike in New Jersey. What's up, Mike? Hey, Mr. Norton. How are you? Hey, buddy. Mr. Shitpants. How are you? I guess that's me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> I would like to ask Danny how he would introduce... Anthony not being at the wedding. Okay, so you're a DJ. Let's say you Rob, realize Anthony's been left out. Let's say Rob is such... Uh, I don't know what the phrase is. I guess uh, vindictive cunt. That not only, <laughs> <laughs> not only does he not invite Anthony to the wedding, but he would like for you at his wedding to introduce the fact that Anthony is not at the wedding. He Rob, said, Rob's wanted. That Rob, guy? the husband, yeah. says, "Please introduce that shitloaf is not here at the wedding." How would you handle that as the wedding DJ? First of all. Well, who doesn't? Not everybody knows Rob. If it was an uncle, oh, by the way, sorry that Uncle Pete no, no, couldn't no, no, no. They all know Rob. They don't know Anthony. Yeah. The husband wants it. He, he said, wants "I want." The groom wants it. I want the pop out of that table in the corner. I want the pop out of the Sirius XM table. Right. I need you to introduce that shitloaf is not here. Yep. You know, you might see some folks over there at uh, table seven. Those are some of uh, Rob's co-workers. And wait, wait a second. I see, I see Travis. I, I see Jim. I see, hmm, I see Hot Dog. I see Sam. But did uh, did Rob go to get a drink or something? And I'd go, oh, okay. Rob's not here tonight. R Rob couldn't make it. Oh, Rob wasn't invited. <laughs> you do a whole act out. It's good. Yeah. I like that. I like that he's already got that. Because what am I going to say? Like Newhart's phone bit. Yeah. And uh, table five. And I see everybody there except Rob. Yes. 
That would, ladies work. and gentlemen, what a great time we're having. Shitloaf is not here. <laughs> yeah, you could say we want to dedicate this one out to Shitloaf. He couldn't be here because he wasn't asked to come. If, and if then Rob you, told me, and to then do what that? do you play? If Rob told me to do that. I would. Do but that, then what do you play? What's, what song do you play for Shitloaf? I guess Loser oh, by I, Beck. And I would have played, uh, not as many people know that from the total generation. Right. And uh, here's a request we're going to send out to Rob. Beatles, I'm a loser. Okay. I don't know that one by the Beatles. Sure you do. I, I may have heard it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't Jim, it. You, you're coming off like an ignorant fool. Of course you know that <laughs> Fair song. Fair enough. I just don't know if I know <laughs> You know that song. I mean, I know. It's off Rubber Soul, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. When I was a kid, I thought the name was pronounced Rubber Soul. No, why would you think that? That's so stupid. <laughs> the, the beginning just starts with, I'm a loser. Oh, yeah. Cold intro. I'm a loser. This. And I love someone who's me. All right, that's a long distance dedication to Rob. Yeah, an extra long distance. Yes. He wasn't invited, yes. you see. <laughs> so just have a little fun. Again, have a little fun. Bride and groom tell me to do something, you do it. Right. Yeah. That's right. it. Right. You know. What if they're, they like, might, what they if they're say, like stripped down to your skivvies? I mean, let me see the bulge. <laughs> no, How about that? they ask you to refer to someone in the room as a cunt? No, I won't. <laughs> I just, that's not right. That's not nice. And I never play any music that has dirty lyrics. Yeah, we want to send a shout out to uh, Aunt Becky back there in the corner. Uh, we can't believe that cunt showed up. Yeah, she's a real <laughs> C-word. Yeah. No, no, no. I, it, I, I'm not, the, I'm not she's there to a be, real C-word. I'm not there to be a smart ass. That's no. I'm not you don't want to be a smart that. aleck. No. 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 no, because then most people say, what a dope. Right. What's he trying to do? Right. Who does he think he is? Yeah. What does yeah. Earth Falcone think he's doing? Yeah. No, yeah. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, the How about if someone had cancer the... and they wanted you to make a joke about it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, let's uh, say hi to Uncle Pete. I don't think he's going to be here too much longer. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully he enjoys this one because he's going to miss the first anniversary. Yes. Yeah. How about, yeah. Uh, you know, he needed a plus one for that tumor on his prostate. <laughs> That's good stuff. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but you know what I do hate? I do hate when he's when having a steak. The tumor will have the salmon. <laughs> no, I, I do hate when you're bringing, uh, doing the toast when the best man or someone. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, Uncle Pete died last week, and you know it was sad to see him go. And he would it kind of bring everybody down. Yeah, what's that's not what it's about, is no, it? Exactly. That would be fun if he did that, though. Oh, the surgeon cuts the tumor. The surgeon, you know, he could do a whole yeah. bunch of cancer. Right, right. right. Yeah. Start throwing balloons out. Well, one of, one of the funniest toasts I did. It was a, uh, a same sex wedding for men. Boom. And, All right, right, Denny. No. Was no. It, Denny, was it yours? <laughs> no, okay. no. And the uh, brother got up and did the toast. He goes, you know, I remember when uh, John and I were in school, and uh, I would, uh, you know, go out with a bunch of different girls to prom and whatever he goes you know bob not so much you know because he you know kind of poked fun that he was gay I but see. It, it did was he a, laugh what's that people did, they did laugh, laugh. and yeah, did he say did um laugh. did he start be quoting bible and, and how our lord frowns upon this no oh, okay. but it's funny you said that because i did a christian wedding once and uh, the toast went about 40 minutes Oh my God! Because one one person did almost a sermon. Why do people like people, it or no? No way. Why can't people just figure out? People just want to go. Mm -hmm. It's a party. Exactly. Have I love fun. a good party. Yeah, I had a, I had a father do like a ten minute speech, and all he talked about was the daughter. And I remember when uh, Janet was three years old, and I would take her to preschool, and yeah. then we'd go to Carvel. And meanwhile, the groom is sitting there. Just, mm -hmm. you know, people start talking and the timing bored. needs to be so precise about these. Things. Yes. You ever see a the fight at a wedding? They fight sometimes. Uh, I had a, not at a wedding. I had a fight at an engagement party once. Who fought? Uh, two Italian ants. Uh, <laughs> physically? <laughs> yeah, physically. There were tables being pushed over. And oh, that's great. Chairs. What started it? I, somebody was pushing somebody. It's like a real housewife type oh, of fight. Yeah, it was fun. And I just said, you know, to my partner, I go, pull everything back. Make sure we get paid and let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, you left immediately? <laughs> well, there's a fight going on. All right, get the money. Let's get the save the equipment before yeah, it's damaged. I didn't think, you know, all right, let's get this party going. Let's have some more fun. Uh, no, smart. You can't, you can't do that. Smart, you can't. So I have okay. to urinate. Well, yeah, we'll take a take, break. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We'll be back with more music right after this.